Hi, thanks for joining me. It's Steve Park from Parkour Personal Training, and today we're doing the Mirafit Boot Camp Workout. Okay, so I'll explain to you briefly what we're going to be doing in this workout. Essentially, we're using all five bits of the equipment and we'll be doing 30 seconds on each one in a circuit fashion. So that means one after the other, after the other, and so on. After you've done the 30 seconds on each bit of equipment, you have a minute rest and then you go back on it again. So you're doing five rounds in total. That's the workout. Exercise number one is going to involve using the slam ball. Essentially, this can be done kneeling or standing up, but it's basically coming down into a squat position, cradling the ball, coming back up, hoisting it above your head if you can, and then slamming it down to the ground with all your might. The main things you need to watch out on here is to make sure your core stays tight. That's where you're going to get your power from. That's where you're going to get your stability from. And if you don't do that, that's where you're also going to be getting your injuries from. So as long as you keep a tight core, nice straight back, think of having all the power you can to hoist that thing up, stay as one solid unit, slam it back down, and you just keep repeating that move for the 30 seconds that you're going to be doing the move for. Right, so moving on to exercise number two. And for this one, we're going to be using the kettlebell. We're using that to do a squat with. So what we're doing with that that one is again similar with the slam ball you're coming down you're lifting the kettlebell up you rack it up and you cradle it here so it's against your chest and just cradling in that section and then you're squatting down nice and low and up again the secret with the squat is you want to try and keep your back nice and straight not bending out too much coming down nice and clean and then back up with nice power nice straight clean form movement that's the main thing to go for don't worry about how many you do in that 30 seconds the form is going to be the important aspect to this one so that's number two all right now so we move over to exercise number three and this is using the sandbag again it's going to be a lower leg lower body movement but you're still using the whole of your body the whole core legs arms everything's working so we adjust the sandbag to make sure the straps are facing up you squat down you brace it you rack it up here and from there you start doing your squats again it's a very similar form or exactly the same form as when we're using the kettlebell keep your back nice and firm your abs in nice and tight and just use the natural movement of that squat position go nice and low you've got no restrictions with this one again don't worry about the reps just make sure you keep a clean form nice consistency through those 30 seconds that's the main thing so exercise number four we're moving over to the battle ropes and here we're looking to use form again keep everything nice and tight and focus on the arms that's all you want really moving everything else wants to stay solid as a rock with the battle rope you can anchor it to the kettlebell or to the sledge whatever or even around a tree you want to have a nice good squatting position everything brace legs brace as brace shoulders back so you don't want to punch forward you want your shoulders back and it's like tapping a drum really quickly that's the first move we're going to do is a quick swing just like tapping a drum and that's it so that's going to be your move again as with everything else we're going to go for the 30 second period so if you get 100 in or if you get 10 in it doesn't matter the actual main fact is that you're working for that full 30 seconds and then we move on to the next exercise right so for the fifth exercise and by no means least it's the sled with this one you can actually push or pull for this move we're going to be pushing it so find a nice straight space nice clean on level ground and it's just getting yourself in that brace position coming down low enough but not too low, so around about that level, so all your power is being transferred to the sled. Not too high and not too low, and it's just working that way for 30 seconds, as much as you can go for. If you need to stop at some point, stop and carry on for that 30 second period. Then after that one, because it's your fifth exercise, you have a minute's rest, catch your breath, and we go around it again for another four more times. Right, so to give a bit of a surmise of the workout, we're doing 30 seconds of each exercise in a circuit fashion, so one after the other of the exercises. You have a minute's rest after you've done all five exercises, then you repeat that four more times, and that's the workout completed. It sounds easy, it won't be, it's going to be a challenge, but you will get better at it the more you practice it. So please, let us know what you think to the workout, hopefully you'll enjoy it, hopefully it'll be a challenge, and let us know what else you'd like to see, always happy to provide the material people like to see. So Subscribe, like, all that good stuff for us. We want to hear what you think and want to hear what you are looking for. And hopefully we'll see you very soon and uh, take care.